Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits and welcome to my channel. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and this week I'm going to give you a sneak peek into a brand new series that I am creating for Patreon in the month of April. I also am going to give you some tips and tricks for mark making on top of collage work with Stabilo Woodies and Posca paint pens. So if you've got a few minutes, let's go check it out. Welcome back to the studio. So this piece, my celestial crow, is a start to finish lesson on Patreon, on my Patreon page, beginning in April. So I'm going to take you through the whole background, how to create the silver moon with metallic leaf, how to underpaint, draw, and collage the crow, and how to create this uh, starry uh, stuff in the background. So um, I want to invite you to explore my patreon page um, it is a month-to-month -month subscription and you get full length in-depth multi-part tutorials such as this piece which is a five-part series as well as single um, lesson techniques mixed in with some video blogs from me some pdf downloads and some various other goodies and uh, you have content that publishes every week as well as you have immediate access to all the archived content that goes back to May of 2020. So I encourage you to check out my Patreon. If you find this piece to be something you'd like to learn how to do, I'm going to take you through it from beginning to end there. So what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to do some mark making on top of the crow, a little bit of accent marks, just to give it a little bit more oomph. And I'm going to be using a combination of my Posca pens and Stabilo Woodies. Now, the Posca pens are what I use to create these stars in the background. Um, I really like these opaque paint pens. They um, offer a, a nice crisp dot with the tip and they offer a nice crisp line but when you want the line to be softer and not look like a marker line i've got a tip for you on how to soften that so let's start with that so i've got a a, a turquoise a white and a, a a kind of a medium blue uh these are the two of these are bullet point uh tips those colors and this is a smaller tip um, this one is in Japanese, so it's hard for me to tell what the tip is. I think all of them are in Japanese. Um, so, and then the, the, uh, woodies, I've got a metallic gold, a purple, an ultramarine blue, and, uh, like a light blue. And these are colors that are, I would be picking up that are already in here. So the really nice thing about the Stabilo woodies is that they're water soluble. So that means if you put a mark down and you don't like it, you can wipe it off with a damp paper towel and you're not committed. Um, also, it means you can blend them out with a paintbrush into a soft kind of watery paint, but I like them for the mark making because they don't require any tooth. They'll, they'll draw right on top of the collage glue and they give you a rough edge, kind of like a combination of a crayon and a colored pencil. So I really like these for that because they give me an organic looking sort of soft, rough edge. The pens, as I said, have a sharp edge, but the tip that I'm going to show you um, to soften them is to quickly rub the line with your finger before it dries and that'll soften the edge of the marker line. But unlike the woodies, these are permanent paint once they're dry and once it's down, there's no going back. Uh, I do like a combination of both of them for different reasons. Uh, I want to remind you that because the woodies are water soluble, as, uh, when you're done, you need to spray the piece with um, some sealer to prevent the woodies from smearing when you apply your brush varnish. Okay, so I've got a paper towel that I'm just gonna find my water container and dampen just in case I wanna wipe any of the woodies off, but I don't think that I will. Um, typically the mark making I put down, I'm, I'm pretty happy with, but we'll have that wet paper towel. Um, and then, uh, so the first thing I'll try is the woodies. And what I want to do is just accent marks. So adding a little bit of an accent and not outlining everything, but adding an accent. This blue is not really showing up in that light. So let's try the gold. There we go. Cause there's some gold in the papers. 
and the purple. So you'll see that I'm, I can also rub it to soften it with my finger. So I'm adding a little purple to the top of the head there. I can add a little bit of this ultramarine blue sort of along here and soften that a little bit. So I really like, like I said, the way that the line is very um, organic and kind of like a soft drawing material. So it doesn't give you a hard edge. So we'll add a little bit of Let's slide this down. Add a little bit of purple up in here and soften it. So the idea, like I said, it's not to outline everything, but rather to give some accent and maybe some definition to these individual feathers. And I really like the metallic gold. Put a little bit of that on the top of his head here. And the purple picks up a lot of the subtle purples that, that are in the feathers. That I really like that purple. So if you're, if you're at all uh, hesitant about the mark making, uh, the woodies, like I said, they're great because you can wipe them off. Let's put a little purple in here. And you could soften with the, the wet paper towel too. You could soften the lines or tone them back a little bit or whatever you feel like you need to back off the intensity. So you can see that the lines are just adding some accent color. Into what I've already done with collage. Okay. So this to be low woodies. Okay. Forgiving water soluble need to be sealed with a spray before you do your brush varnish. And a beautiful way to accent some of these pieces of collage paper. Gold is quite nice. I also have a white one somewhere, but I think the gold is more rich. Okay, so that's using the woodies to just make some accent marks to highlight where the light might be catching it and to define some of the individual pieces of paper. Okay, so then with the Posca. I wanted to add some more stars back into the top darker area. I toned down the top darker area. So I'm just going to add some with the blue, not with the pure white, because it's going to be darker at the top. And the bullet point makes perfectly round, small stars in this particular size. And then I've got the white where I could add a couple smaller ones up 
in the transition area from the dark blue. Okay. So then within the body of the bird, I can add the Posca line and, ooh, maybe not so much. You got to work quick with the Posca because it dries fast in its paint. But I want to do a thin line and then there, less, less pressure, and then swipe it. And you'll get a soft edge to it instead of having a hard marker line. So let's try this color. I bet you that could look pretty cool in here. Ooh, looks like I like this color and it's empty. Ah, okay. We could bring a little white in here along this edge. And smudge it. I think this blue is going to be our friend. There you go. So you see the hard line there and you take it and you just blend it and you'll soften that marker line right up, but it's so opaque that it goes over and the woodies are opaque as well, but it really stands out, but you want to do that rub so that you just don't have that hard marker line effect because it's not consistent with the collage. So that I don't like. So quickly you can rub it off. So we'll put one in down in here in the leg. And it's a nice way to add a little light to the tips here. So you can see that that quick smudge with your finger makes a world of difference in the quality of the line. And again, if you get, if you work quickly, you can wipe it off. So up in here where I added some of that gold, I'm going to add a little of that light blue to the tips, just the tips. That's a little much. So I hope you found that helpful and encouraging and gives you some mark making suggestions and possibilities on top of collage to add some colorful accents with two different materials. I think I need to soften that a little bit. So I would love for you to consider joining me on Patreon, like I said, for this lesson from start to finish and more tips and tricks with art supplies, backgrounds, materials, and more. So happy Friday. 
So thank you for being here with me this week. Thanks for messing around with mark making and considering joining me for the Celestial Crow series on Patreon. I think you're going to love it. And I'm super excited about the whole series. So ultimately, the piece is going to be donated to the UMass Amherst Fine Arts Center for their annual gala this year. And the theme of the gala is over the moon and they are holding the gala one day after the full moon. So the piece was custom made to support the UMass Fine Arts Center, which I'm super happy to do. I'll see you back here next week. <laughs>